Well, there's a new twist this morning in the scandal over that Diana interview. The disgraced journalist Martin Bashir went on to interview Michael Jackson in 2003. And now the late singer's family are demanding an apology and threatening legal action. They say Bashir tricked the singer just like he did to Princess Diana. Michael Jackson's nephew Taj joins us now from Los Angeles. Thank you for your time. What do you think is wrong with your uncle's interview with Martin Bashir? Um, well, I don't, I don't even know what's right about it in terms of, luckily my uncle had a, a separate camera filming during all the eight months. And if you watch the take two, what you weren't meant to see, Michael had a rebuttal video and you can totally see the journalistic integ um, integrity go out the door by Martin Bashir. He used, he praised him behind the scenes and then through voiceover and deci um, deceitful editing, basically shaped a narrative that Michael was dangerous and, and implied certain things. I was just watching that footage and what they don't say in terms of the share of the bed, you know, is you can, you can have my bed if you want, sleep in it. I'll sleep on the floor, it's yours. I always give the beds to the company, but they cut it right before that so that all you hear is share your bed. Right. So you've always believed the interview is unethical and and the allegations of Martin Bashir being de unethical and deceiving Princess Diana really yeah. do doesn't surprise you at all. Unfortunately, it didn't. And we've been waiting for this since 2003. Um, I think now the world is seeing how unethical Martin Bashir can be um, with forging documents. My uncle was supposed to have final cut. There's a document in question where it doesn't even look like my uncle's signature on it for the final cut. My uncle never saw the final cut. He was promised to see it. And so there's a lot of things that need to be investigated in that way because that documentary led to that trial, which right. led, I know we'll get to this. So you think he led forged, ultimately, he forged but, the signature? I'm saying that, that when that was brought up in court in 2005, he, held, he hid between the journalistic shield law, and he did not answer that question. Mm. So there's also allegations that Bashir produced a letter, apparently from Diana, to get the yeah. interview in the first place? To get the trust, yeah. My, my uncle, uh, you know, just like the world, adored Princess Diana. It was someone that had done great things for people, had, was very charitable, and was a friend. So it was almost like, well, if she's endorsing him, then I'm in good hands. And I think that was to the detriment of him in a way. Okay. Because when someone has sinister motives, you don't know what they're thinking and you kind of go against your better judgment. And so that's what happened. But, and it wasn't just, he showed it to my uncle, he showed it to my uncle's publicist and, and an, another person that was my uncle's friend, trying to get them to, um, to get a meeting with my uncle through them as well. And they've gone on record and talked about it in interviews. You say this documentary led to Michael Jackson's death. Why do you say that? One, one, one of the main factors, yes, 100%. Um, I've, it's not a, a theory. I actually moved to Neverland during the trial. When the Martin Bashir's documentary led to Tom Sneddon, who was the DA, feeling confident enough with the public outcry to go after my uncle again. That 2005 trial did, I mean, that devastated my uncle. That You can literally see him throughout those months deteriorate right in front of people's eyes. And it also tainted the one place that my uncle built to kind of reclaim his childhood, it tainted it. And so he never considered it home again. And ne he never considered the place that he had built that for underprivileged kids and Make-A-Wish Foundation. Now that place wasn't home anymore. So it was a man without a home. And so... I think it was the start of a downfall in terms of public, not, I would say there was jail and my uncle escaped that because he was innocent, and, and as the court said, but then there's public jail, which yeah. is, you know, the public okay. opinion jail. He never escaped that. And that was the problem. He, he couldn't do things financially mm. and other things because in the court of public opinion, he was still in jail. Yeah. yeah. OK, well, they're pretty damning allegations you've put to us. Taj, thank you very much for sharing that. I, I really appreciate you guys um, for giving me this yeah. opportunity as well. Thank you, Taj.